What's up, what's up everyone? This is Lonnie Hill with Lonnie Hill's Flatline Fitness. Y'all know what it is. We're in the building with these topics today. And you know, hey, today is a holiday topic. You know how we're going to um, maintain our weight and not pick up too much weight because you're going to pick up a little weight over the holidays. That's just what it is, but don't beat yourself up about it. So here it is. One of the things that you absolutely have to know when you're doing what you're doing is understand why it is that you're doing it. Why it is that you're eating? Why are you eating? Are you eating because you're hungry? Are you eating for pleasure? Are you eating because you're socializing? Or are you eating because someone handed you a plate? Okay, let's go over these things. If you are hungry, if you go into an outing and you're hungry, remember like I told you guys before, I don't recommend going anywhere, you know, during the holidays with an empty stomach. Now, that's just, to me, that's setting yourself up for failure to pick up those pounds that you really don't want. Okay, but if you are hungry and you decide to go ahead and eat, which no one should go hungry, go for the nutrition stuff first. You know what I'm saying? And for the meat eaters, you know, eat, eat your um, meat. You know, at parties, they typically have uh, chicken or steak or shrimp and stuff like that. Eat that first. Don't overdo it, but eat that first. Then go for your greens. You know, for us vegans and vegetarians, go for your greens, your, your peanuts and stuff like that because they have that type of stuff also. Go for that stuff first. And then when you're done doing that, you know, um, your brain tells you, okay, bet I'm almost full or I'm full. Stop. That's important, too. You absolutely have to listen to your brain telling your body, look, that's enough. Okay, then you go for your pies, your cakes, and, and stuff like that, the things that most people go to these parties for. Okay, are you eating to socialize? If you're eating to socialize, that's fine, and that's easy to manipulate. You can sit, you can socialize, and you can nibble here, nibble there, nibble here, and without doing too much, and still socialize and not be, quote, unquote, what they call rude, me, I don't consider it. If I'm not hungry, I'm not hungry. It's just what it is. But, you know, you don't have to feel like that you're being rude. So you can manipulate that situation with conversation and just eat at the bare minimum. You know, nibble, 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 nibble. Are you eating for pleasure? Figure out why it is that you're eating in regards to pleasure. Because if you're eating simply for pleasure because something tastes good, I can almost guarantee that's a setup for failure. You know what I mean? You're going to you're gonna overdo it and you're going to um, end up picking up those unwanted pounds that no one wants to pick up. And then the next day, you're going to be um, upset at yourself and beating yourself up about it. So, look, don't eat something just because it tastes good. Of course, everyone wants to enjoy their food. You want to eat something that's pleasurable and tasty. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. All I'm saying is understand when to quit and know that you're not just eating simply because of pleasure and self-fulfillment in regards to the taste. Okay. Um, are you eating simply because someone handed you a plate? It's easy to do that because people don't want to be rude. You know, like, you know, somebody offers you something. My mama used to tell me, you know, you never want to turn nothing down when somebody offers you something because they may stop offering you, you know, things later in life. To me, my thing is if I don't want it, I don't want it. Period. Especially when it comes to food. You know, if, if it's not a part of what I'm trying to do, if it's not going to help me in life or whatever, there's ways to say no in a polite way. Um, no, nah, I'm all right. I appreciate you offering that to me, but I've already had something to eat. Period. Simple. You know what I'm saying? Oh, thank you for offering that to me, but I think I'll pass on this one. You know what I'm saying? Just there's, there's ways of being polite in doing that. You know, um, so what you have to do is just be mindful, understand what it is, why you're eating and let that be your primary focus. You know, um, if you walk in somewhere and you say, okay, bet I'm just going to socialize and eat with well, it. Let that be it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm hungry right now. Go for those foods that are going to fill you up first that have some nutritional value to it and then indulge in the cakes and things like that. Okay. Um, and that's just what it is. You just got to stay focused and, um, know what, know what it is while you're eating, and don't don't do anything more and listen to your brain when your brain tells your body that's enough so boom i appreciate y'all checking me out please like and share this video give me your comments at the bottom excuse my throat i caught a little bug that's flying around here but it don't last long with me my immune system is good to me because i'm good to it so take care god bless catch me up on facebook on the Lonnie Hill Flatline. Catch me up on YouTube on the, on the Lonnie Hills Flatline Fitness. Catch me on Instagram on the Flatline Fitness 1. And also catch me on um my email is flat underscore line fitness at yahoo.com. Hit me up with your um questions, inquiries, or whatever. You know, um be safe. Don't do too much. Enjoy your holidays. And take care.
please like and share these videos.